Well, we're here on the historic schooner Ernestina, which is docked here at State Pier, right on the downtown New Bedford waterfront. I'm here with Tom Nixon. He is an interpreter with the Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation. Tom, tell us a little bit about uh, the schooner Ernestina. Well, the schooner Ernestina has a great history, Tom. Uh, we should be very proud to have this cultural resource here in New Bedford. The ship was built in 1894 at the James and Tar Yard. At the time, the schooner was a pickup truck of the sea. Mm -hmm. It was used for everything. Yeah. And this particular ship was used for everything. Yeah, now I assume they used it for fishing at one point? They started as a fishing boat. She fished for 20 years and it paid for herself many times over. Mm -hmm. And mo while most of her sisters became uh, Victorian houses, oh, no, torn up and recycled, uh, she was saved by a man named Bob Bartlett, an explorer. Mm -hmm. She spent years exploring the Arctic and then she became the last ship of sail to bring immigrants to America. Right. So this ship was actually in the Arctic. <laughs> Many times. No kidding. Many times. So what's one of the more interesting things that you ha that you like on this ship? Well, my favorite part about this, Tom, is the way that Captain Bob Bartlett tricked this out like a hot rider. He added the first engine, and he did this. You will not see this in any other ship in the world. When decks are washed, water runs through these scuppers, and the slight curve allows the water to run off the deck. Well, you're in the Arctic. You've got ice. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You do this. And it just let, lets big chunks of ice slide off. Right, they could just push ice out rather than throwing it overboard. Uh huh. And there's, there's two of them on either side. And when we were painting this ship, we had one of those open, and a man who volunteered put a plank up, and his dog was coming on and off the ship. <laughs> oh, that's a doggy door. <laughs> <laughs> but Tom, tell us about these uh, these wooden hoops that are around the, the mast. You know, people ask about that. Mm -hmm. well, the easiest way to describe it is as opposed to a square rig ship where the sail drops like a curtain, imagine this is a sideways shower curtain. Mm -hmm. So you're hoisting the sail up vertically against this very, very greasy. I got it. So as you so you grease this thing every year, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah no yeah. kidding. It's it's, it's got to be slick, obviously, for these hoops to go up, right? Correct. Right. Yeah. Ah, very interesting. The ship has been rebuilt again and again and again. But if you want to see original parts, they're inevitably black metal. This same wheel has been there originally. We even know when this particular handle was broken off. Oh, 65. Really? How do you know that? Photographic evidence. Oh, no kidding. Right. Yeah. Uh, so when it was uh, in the hands of the Cape Verdeans and Captain Mendez's day, it's here one year and not the next. I see. The same is true of this build pump. It was manufactured in Cape Ann 120 years ago. This thing still works. No, no kidding. In an emergency, you would recommend remanning this constantly. And so, and, and, and so then it, it built, dredges it up and it spits it out on the t deck and then it runs off to the scuppers, right? Which I won't do to you now. That's good because it looks kind of gross. <laughs> Hey, Tom, thanks a lot for walking us through the Ernestina. Real quick tour, I know. I know there's a million things you'd probably like to tell us about it. We don't have the time, but you can come down here and see the Ernestina for yourself right in downtown New Bedford. I'm Tom Richardson for NewEnglandBoating.com. Thanks for watching.